Well, during drought years, Oklahoma cattle producers know there's a lot of issues that can impact their cattle. But Dave, there's kind of a hidden issue that producers need to be aware of. Vitamin A deficiency is the one I was concerned about. You know, we talked about it before on SUNUP. I think it, it bears uh, addressing again because of the continued dry conditions we've had. And we're getting some feedback uh, that some, some of the veterinarians are concerned about that problem. So what are some issues that vitamin A deficiencies can have for cattle? In general, it lowers immunity in, in cattle. And so, you know, you might have calf death loss. Uh, you might have uh, more susceptibility to things like scours and other diseases. So it can, that, that would probably be the primary concern. So what are some ways to actually, you know, mitigate that issue? Vitamin A supplementation, you know, it's not difficult, it's not expensive. And so that's going to be the best way for most people to address that challenge. Um, you know, if we talk about the, the natural source of vitamin A is really a provitamin we call carotene. And green lush forages, uh, legume hay, for example, uh, the yellow pigment in corn grain actually contains carotene. And the animal can convert that carotene to active vitamin A. So uh, in, uh, as, as plants mature, the carotene concentration in that plant material declines. And so you can imagine in a drought year like this, uh, that probably by the middle of, of this past summer, most of our forages would have had very minimal carotene left. Consequently, uh, if those cattle haven't been getting supplemental vitamin A, consistently they may be deficient. Cattle can store vitamin A in their liver for two, maybe up to a maximum of about three months. And so as we're approaching calving here, adequate vitamin A in a cow is really important prior to calving so that she can build vitamin A concentration in the colostrum that she's going to provide to that baby calf. So it's not too late? It's not too late at all, no. And in fact, for spring calving, this is a good time to be thinking about, you know, making sure that you're, ha you're providing adequate vitamin A through a supplementation or supplement of some type. So when we get into that actual process of supplementing, what's some guidance that you have? So uh, vitamin A is, is expressed in international units uh, rather than grams or pounds or whatever. Uh, but uh, a gestating cow requires around 30,000 international units per day of vitamin A. Uh, lactating cow requires somewhere between 50 to 55,000 international units per day. And so a real quick example of how to go about you know, determining if they're getting adequate vitamin A from a supplement. Let's say we've got a mineral, a free choice mineral supplement that's supposed to be consumed at a rate of around four ounces per head per day or a quarter of a pound. And the feed tag will tell you on a commercial product, the feed tag is gonna tell you how much vitamin A is in that product. And if this product has 200,000 international units per pound of, of feed or supplement, in this case mineral, uh, and those cattle are getting a quarter of a pound, that means they would be consuming about 50,000 international units. So it would be adequate for that lactating cow. So the drought has impacted uh, producers differently and not everyone was in severe drought. So how do you know if you have a cow that's deficient in vitamin A? You can't tell by looking. Uh, so. It's, but it's not difficult to test for vitamin A. And if you, you know, we recommend people contact their veterinarian and have them assist or, or guide them through that process. But basically a blood serum sample can be sent to a diagnostic laboratories like, like ours here at Oklahoma State, uh, and they can send it off for testing for uh, active vitamin A. And they can also contact their local county extension office, right? Yeah, the extension educators are going to be real helpful, especially with the mineral supplementation program, determining how much mineral, you know, the cattle are getting uh, and, and mineral concentrations in, in different feed sources. All righty, thanks, Dave. Dr. Dave Loman, beef cattle specialist here at Oklahoma State University. And if you'd like a link to find your local county office, go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.